here in the pre-existent, co coexisting with God the Father, is in Jeremiah. Before you were in the womb, I knew you, right? Yeah. That's right. There is a there's a spirit world previous to this. But why are we here on earth, then? What's our purpose? Well, I would, I, I'm not trying to butt heads with you. Well, I know. I'm just but, asking. The, the Bible teaches that Jesus pre-existed, we didn't. Jeremiah 1, when it says, before you were in the womb, I knew you, well, the same word for no, in Hebrew is the same word for choose. In context, it's about ordaining, foresight, setting aside. Well, where did we come from, then? Well, God created us. Period. For what purpose? What's the greatest... I will answer your question with a question, not okay. to, not to, die, not to uh, avoid it. Okay. What's the greatest commandment Jesus said we could follow? The greatest a commandment... Of them. Say again? There's a couple of them. Well, love your said, God and love your neighbor. That's right. Those are the two commandments. So the, the greatest commandment is to love God with everything you have. That's the purpose of life. In the context of human community, to enjoy God, to love God... Go ahead. But it also says, I guess, in the Bible that we're created in His image, and if He doesn't have a body, then... Well, whose image are we created after? Well, you know, the Bible also says that we need to be conformed to God's image, right? It says that in the New Testament. So let me ask you. It also says we're created. Well, that's right. I'm, here, here, I'm getting at that. I'm not trying to judge that. If I'm, a, if I'm going to be conformed and transformed into God's image, that doesn't mean I'm going to go to a plastic surgeon and try to get me to look more like Jesus looks in the pictures or more like the Father looks in the pictures. If I'm going to be transformed into God's image, that doesn't mean I have to shine a certain brightness. It doesn't mean I have to have certain size shoes. Right? What it means is my moral character is purified. When we were created in God's image, it was not His physical image, it was His spiritual image. All right? And we know that because it says everything there is here is created by God. Matter I means created by God. God this is a cool way to put it. If you've got kids and you want to teach them this, God did not have a sandbox in his backyard. It's not as though God needed to draw with a bucket from the, the big sandbox of eternally coexisting matter to make worlds. It's not as though God needed matter to organize the world. He created it. Anything that has shape and size and weight, God created it. If God, if God the Father decided to appear in a body, the body he appeared in, he created. Get that? Anything that was material ever, God created. Go ahead. Well, you're saying that we're conformed to his image, but Adam, the first person was, well, he was already a man when he was created, and he was created in God's image. He was morally perfect, but he chose to fall into sin. Because of his wife. Well, it was, it was a mutual sin. It was a sin. You know what the Bible does? The Bible does not distinguish between sin and transgression. 